platform. So let's talk a little bit more about the benefits that, that come with it. And some of them can be monetary as well. And they could be also investment related because um, a lot of people know that when you are buying property, you, are, you, you start an investment and property portfolio. So um, let's talk a little bit more about that and um, some of the benefits that come with owning in this one. Well, I think first and foremost, uh, it's lifestyle in a secure environment uh, and it gives you peace of mind. I'm a very warm welcome to you and thank you so much for stopping by. This is the podcast where we talk everything and anything property. So buying, investing, selling and overall growing your property portfolio. If you are joining us on the Twitter spaces, thank you so much for tuning in and hopefully you stay till the end of the conversation. And for all our regulars, thank you so much for always coming back and throwing those green hearts just to make sure that we feel your love. Thank you so much. We really, really appreciate it. Tonight's topic is something really classy and upmarket. <laughs> Tonight we are talking super estates and super estate lifestyle and some of those estates that are coming up in the Johannesburg area and different parts of the country. And as usual, I am joined by an expert in the field. I'm talking to Darren De Olifier, who is um, or De Oliveira, who is a founder and executive chairman at Northlands Group. Darren, good evening and thank you so much for joining us. Hi to me. Nice, uh, nice to be here and thanks very much for inviting me. Thank you so much for taking our time. Tonight we are talking super estates and someone who's watching might be wondering what exactly are super estates? How do they differ from an estate that I'm currently living in or, or in estates that um, the states, the different estates that are in the market? We've got lifestyle ones, we've got um, the retirement ones and how is how unique is this one and what are some of the characteristics that you can identify them with? Um, well, to me, we, we, um, uh, we're quite unique in the sense that we are in the cradle of humankind. It uh, is absolutely beautiful uh, a piece of property. It's over three million square meters of land, which is uh, twice the size of Monaco, just to give you a perspective of the size of the property. And uh, you've got rolling hills, uh, beautiful vistas, uh, the Crocodile River running um, over three kilometers uh, through the property. Uh, we've got the established Avianta Hotel um, uh, uh, on the, uh, the, uh, on the, uh, the, the estate. We've got uh, Riverstone Lodge, uh, Stones Throw Manor. Um, so there's accommodation that is all um, available for, for people that are, uh, are visiting uh, um, the, the area that, that, that can come stay with, with family that perhaps couldn't help them to, to, to actually stay over with their own house. So, and at the same time, uh, giving you the facilities for, for, for weddings, for um, 21st, for, for, for whatever, going out for a dinner, it's all on your doorstep. So I think that's, uh, you know, it's really been in the countryside and been affordable uh, accommodation within the countryside um, that, that, that differentiates us from other states. Sure, no, definitely. And let's talk a little bit more about um, the outline benefits of, of, of owning in an estate like this. And you've mentioned such beautiful tourist attractions, so you would legit feel like you are on holiday while you are living at home. So let's talk a little bit more about the benefits that, that come with it. And some of them can be monetary as well. And they could be also investment related because um, a lot of people know that when you are buying property, you, are, you, you start an investment and property portfolio. So um, let's talk a little bit more about that and um, some of the benefits that come with owning in this one? Well, I think first and foremost, uh, it's lifestyle in a secure environment uh, and it gives you peace of mind. Um, honestly, I live, uh, live within this state and you do not need to lock your door. We have never had an incident in the eight years that I've lived there. Um, and I think that that is to me the most important that you have got uh, peace of mind. Um, the, the other amazing thing about where we live is that we're in the, uh, the, 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 the cycling mecca of, uh, of Johannesburg. Um, I'm a keen cyclist. Uh, I ride out of uh, my, my, my front door and straight away I've got 30 kilometers of, of safe, secure trails uh, on our doorstep. Um, I've got uh, 
the extended uh, uh, cradle of humankind with uh, with hundreds and hundreds of cyclists uh, enjoying it on Saturdays and Sundays. Mm -hmm. um, you've got all the different uh, restaurant and coffee shops along the way that you can stop and, and enjoy. And uh, you don't have to put your, your bike in the car and uh, drive 30 minutes from Santon and then, and then go cycle. You just climb on your bike and you're out there. Uh, same with runners, uh, you know, you, it's, it's a beautiful place to, to go jogging. We've got uh, Cradle Moon on our doorstep with uh, the Lake Heritage uh, 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 Lake, which is, is a, a favorite for, uh, for swimmers that are doing tri <laughs> triathletes um, events. Uh, we've, got, uh, we've got so many facilities that are right on our doorstep, hot air ballooning, um, the, the the rhino and lion park you've got you've got such a wealth of of, of facilities that uh, that it's it's called the crocodile ramble and mm. you actually live within the crocodile ramble so yeah from an investment your second part of the question is um from investment what i can say is that whoever buys into the estate now in its early stages we're only launching the second phase now. Leisure Den was the first phase of 115 stands. And it took a long time to, to get momentum and get sold out. But now that we're into the second phase um, and we're in a, a more affordable market with the second phase, uh, the, 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 the properties are going to go very quickly. And I can assure you at the rates that we are selling for the lifestyle that you're getting, your investment is going to grow exponentially. Um, if you just have to compare to the likes of uh, Blair Athol or Stain City, mm. uh, the rates per square meter, uh, our, our properties are, are virtually half of, 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 of our competitors. So that, uh, that, that says a lot. Sure. You know, it says city, li city living with country serenity. And I, it's something that sounds very enticing. And let's talk the different, um, um, the different developments that you guys are coming um, with in the, in the establishment or in the estate. You know, how, how inclusive are they in terms of um, the starting prices and what is available? The se are there sectional titles or is there just land that one can, can build in? Are there apartments? How does it look in terms of the landscape? Well, the landscape initially started with Lajidin, which were bigger stands, uh, a more affluent market. Um, and that, that you, you've really got between three and, uh, and 10 million rand plus uh, properties. Um, the second phase, which we do now, which is Verona, which we've just launched, uh, we've actually realized the, the need for smaller stands. Uh, we've also realized that people like to live uh, on their own property and and uh, do prefer not being part of a sectional title. So we, we've gone the, uh, the the small stand within the secure estate um, and our stands are, of, when we say small, they're not that small. They're from 600 square meters. So it's still a sizable yard. And uh, and then we've, uh, we are, uh, as momentum grows, uh, there, there's certainly the next step is the sectional title to get the price to to the two million rand uh, a mark uh, entry level, and uh, that will, we will be launching uh, before the end of the year, and that will be called San Donato. And uh, there we got two bedroom, 139 square meter units. We got three bedroom, 169 square meter units, uh, but they 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 will have beautiful views. They will they will f still feel like they're in the country, and uh, you know honestly for for. Uh, two million rand, you you get in the same lifestyle as uh, somebody that is spending uh, thirty million plus in uh, in Stain City. Yeah. Um, you know, yes, you don't have a golf course, but uh, to to be honest, we are going to be doing a driving range, practice facilities, and if you want, you climb in your car and you go to the golf course. We got uh, Krugersdorf up the road. We got Ramsach within uh, within ten minutes, uh, which is my uh, my home cl uh, course and. Uh, it's uh, they they top top golf courses. So I think you've really got everything that you could ask for uh, right on your doorstep. 
Sure. Could you talk to us um, a little bit more about the related costs, you know, of living in an estate like this? Because a lot of times people, um, as, as they are prospective or, or going into the market, um, don't really understand exactly how the, the cost looks, you know, cost breakdowns and what exactly they'll be paying for. And this becomes one of the biggest stumbling block um, for them to actually even enter the market or, or prospectively enter the market. So um, how do the costs look and um, what, what exactly would um, someone should or what exactly should someone prepare themselves for before going into the market? All right, well, let's uh, take um, Verona, for instance. You're looking at around a million rand inclusive of all your transfer fees because uh, we, we pay that on, on the, uh, the purchaser's behalf. Um, and then uh, once, uh, once they bought the stand, uh, they, they then enter into a building contract with us. We, we uh, offer a turnkey package where we do everything for you. Um, you choose your finishes. Uh, we got some really, really beautiful finishes, Hansgro taps and, um, and a really, a really good, good quality uh, uh, A-grade finishes. And uh, for that, you're looking at 11,500 Rand inclusive of that mm -hmm. uh, for the building uh, package. So you're looking, you're looking completed uh, around the 15, 16,000 rand a square meter, um, but then the, the stands are big. They're from 600 uh, square meters up. Um, and then um, the, the cost, the, the monthly cost that people would have is obviously if you've taken a bond out, you will have your bond uh, cost, which uh, as we know, Prime is 7.75% at the moment. I know there's talk of it going up, but um, I've had from the banks uh, uh, first-hand information. It shouldn't go more than a, another month within the next eight, another one percent within the next eighteen months. So we, uh, we, I don't think it's going to shoot up. We're still in a very, very, very good um, a rate uh, climate compared to what we've had in the past. Um, and I don't think we'll ever go back to to what I saw when I started. Uh, I started uh, the. Uh, Avianto Estate, uh, not the Avianto Estate, the Avianto Hotel in 97 and uh, shortly after we, we built we went up to 24.5%. We're never going to get up there again. So mm. I would say for for people to, to uh, average uh, around 10% and under, um, they, they're not, they, they shouldn't be, uh, be surprised, to, uh, have a surprise of it going higher than that. So if they do their calculation on the bond, then the second thing that they need to do is pay the levy. Uh, the levy is 2,000 Rand uh, per month. And that levy um, covers all your uh, external gardening of the, the parks, of the, the pavement along the roads, in front of your house. So you only really have to do your backyard, which is mm -hmm. uh, your gardening is, is, is minimal. It really is a, a 30 minute on a Saturday. Um, and that would be the sum total of it. So you really don't need a gardener. Um, people can, can do it themselves. Um, then uh, you own, only other, uh, with that, that, uh, within that 2,000 Rand levy, that also um, uh, covers all the, the common area, uh, the levy for the, uh, the, the clubhouse, um, the, the walks along the river, um, the communal facilities. So it's actually really, really affordable. And the security, most importantly, because um, if you uh, don't live in a state, um, your, your security is a, is a big cost. Uh, and all of that is obviously watered down a lot being in a state because you've suddenly got 200 people contributing to the, the entrance gate and the, the boundary. So to, the long and short of it is the bond, uh, the, uh, the, the levy of 2000, your rates and taxes, which um, on a typical house there, you're looking at about uh, two to three thousand, depending on the size of the mm -hmm. house per month, and uh, then um, electricity and water, uh, water costs. Uh, one of the things that uh, we we doing at Avianto is we are going green. Uh, it's yeah. always been our motto. Um, our first house that was ever built there was um, uh, the it was was a, a reality TV show, Love and Water. And uh, it, it was emphasized on a green living. So we're going with solar systems on all the houses. Um, and uh, the, the beauty of the, the solar systems is people can either get a solar system where uh, you, you need to just agree to pay whatever ESKIM rates are. 
um, to to uh, to Avianta Energy, and they will uh, install the uh, the solar system for you. Which means you've got backup power for the same rate as anybody else would be paying. Mm -hmm. Or we offer an outright purchase where you buy the system, you pay uh, one hundred and ninety five thousand, including VAT, and you've got a state of the art uh, solar system. And then your electricity bill is, is it can actually be zero because. Mm -hmm. Um, I've got that exact system in my house, and uh, you don't you don't actually need uh, to draw any power off Eskom. You can you can manage with the solar that that is generated during the day uh, to 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 run your uh, your house at night. So that's a huge saving. And then the other thing is water. The lastly is the water that you would um, uh, depending on the on your water consumption. And what we encourage is water harvesting where you catch your rainwater um, and you, you, we put it into a tank and you utilize that for your garden. So your water, water uh, honestly at home, I, I, I've got prepaid water, I put a thousand rand in and it lasts me pretty much for a minimum of two months, minimum. Mm. So I would say that's the total, the total cost that you're in for. No, definitely. And I like the fact that it's becoming a lot more inclusive and a lot more versatile in terms of um, the different offerings that you guys are bringing to the estate. That's make, that is making it also accessible to a lot of um, um, young people and e even prospective buyers and, and investors. Um, I just want us to jump to a, a myth or, and, or those myths that exist around um, living in super life estates and what people believe um, is, is, is true and is not. You know, one of those things um, which you have already really knocked out the park with with some of your explanation is that people think that you pay exuberantly for for services that you would pay half the price in any other estate um what are some of those other things um in your years of development and in in your experience right now i'm um, putting this together that you have seen that is absolutely not true and that just requires someone to to, to apply themselves and maybe even um show some interest for, uh, for them to see that uh, it's not the case well <laughs> Funny enough, I almost fell into that, uh, <laughs> that, uh, that uh, mistake of going the golf course route because mm. I think that is what's given the stigma uh, to, uh, to estates. Yeah. Um, I, don't th I think a lot of people don't realize that uh, to maintain a, a golf course is over 400,000 Rand a month. Um, and that's, uh, that's, a, that's a, low, a low cost. Um, so, you know, if you start putting that, applying that to levies, uh, it, it, it really, really... Uh, hurts the, the levy budget and it pushes it up. So I think that's where estate living really uh, sort of started was all the golf course estates that were, were going up. I, uh, I actually designed a golf course on Avianto. I had the whole thing mapped out and uh, fortunately the bottom fell out of golf courses just before, um, before I, I launched. Um, so I actually canned all that and I said, you know what, we're going for a lifestyle estate. So where we have got the difference is that we don't have that uh, levy of uh, uh, that, 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 that needs to maintain a, an upmarket uh, uh, international standard golf course. Um, we allow the public to come in, so that means that uh, the, the public facilities um, are making money from the public as well. The, the restaurants are not getting carried by the levy. They're actually uh, totally independent. In fact, uh, the, uh, the, the, the clubhouse is run by Avianto Hotel and uh, there, is no, um, there is no cost to the, uh, to the owners uh, for, that, for that clubhouse because it, mm -hmm. it's covered by Avianto themselves. Um, you've got uh, the sporting facilities which are standalone independent. We will have a state-of-the-art gym, uh, my fitness gym, which Will, uh, will be self-sufficient. Uh, yeah. The same with the indoor swimming pool. So the, we, we've, we've been very careful um, not to, uh, not to uh, labor the owners with, uh, with levies. Yeah. Um, in fact, I've actually built it in that during the development phase, and our development phase will be to, to finish over 2,000 houses, uh, you know, it could take an, a, another decade to finish that. Mm. Um, hopefully, it'll go a lot quicker so that I can uh, retire a bit earlier. <laughs> but, um, uh, you know, the, the, the reality is in the, the MRI, I've actually said that there will not be any special levies. Mm. So people are buying in knowing they've got a fixed levy from day one, 
and uh, uh, with, uh, with, uh, with a guaranteed no special levy. So I, as the developer, am carrying the, the initial cost. You can imagine if, the, if, you, if you split the cost and the first person buys in the estate, they would have to cover the entire estate's levy, um, which, which would kill them. So I, I've actually made it really, really transparent and easy for, for people mm. uh, coming into the estate. If you just joined us, we are almost at the tail end of our conversation tonight and we are speaking the benefits of living in a super life estate and we are currently zooming into um, the Avianto um, the Avianto residential estate that is coming up with different um, uh, offerings that are going to be in the estates. Um, uh, I'm joined by Dan Darren Olif De Olifira and he's been talking to us about the different um, offerings that are going to be there in terms of the sectional titles, the lands, the, bi the bigger houses, the smaller houses, some of them that are affordable, the different gyms and all the beautiful amenities that really surround um, this particular estate and I'm sure someone is sitting at home now Darren and wondering when where do I go I want to get myself uh, I want to get that stand I want to start building <laughs> where do I go how do I find you guys and how do I start that process because um, oh I, I'm one of those people who's like where do I sign up because this definitely sounds like something up my alley and uh, um, I want to invest in so how does how does one get in touch with you and um, start that that investment journey well i think the uh, the first thing to do is just to email marlon uh, m-a-r-l-o-n at avianta estate.co.za um we uh, we've we've actually uh, be launching our uh, our website next week we we've uh, independent one we've been running off uh, avianta's website it is uh, so at the moment you can just go on to avianta.co.za uh, but we we've actually decided we need a standalone avianta estate which will be live next week um, so yeah definitely uh, um, get hold of our, our main sales guy marlon um, uh, we've got a shop at cradlestone mall uh, a dedicated shop at the entrance of Woolworths. Um, Cradlestone Mall is within three kilometers. Uh, it's a great shopping center. Uh, Woolworths uh, is, is the, the target market, we, uh, the, the clients for Woolworths that we, we're looking for. And um, we, we, we've got a great, it looks like a unit. It's really uh, well, uh, well fitted out. And uh, uh, you know, pop in there, you can get all the information that you want. We do have a show house at Verona. Um, we've, we've actually got two. We've got the, the top, uh, uh, the biggest size that we're offering at Verona, which is 311 square meter house, and the, uh, the, the smallest that we're offering, which is 168 square meter house. So you can go have a look at the two different uh, uh, products, and uh, you're looking at the, the, the smallest one at uh, 2, comma, uh, 2.79 million to, uh, to uh, 4.6 million uh, for a completed house. Um, and that's ready to go. We give you the key and, uh, and, and, and the, the house is yours. We will be uh, uh, um, um, launching the sectional title, which will then bring the, the entry level down to the 2 million uh, mark uh, towards the end of the year. Um, so I think, you know, as you say, sign up, it's there. It's, I can assure you I live there and I absolutely love it. In fact, I can say I built a house to semigrate to Cape Town and I prefer Joburg. So mm -hmm. I didn't even move into a completed house. Mm -hmm. I actually decided I prefer life in, Ka in Johannesburg. That's the honest truth. I would definitely also prefer a life in Johannesburg if it's on that side of the country. So definitely. Thank you so much uh, for joining us tonight, Darren, and really, really appreciate such insightful information about um, super estate living and uh, specifically the Avianto um, offerings that are going to be coming up from now until the, to, till the later part of this year. Thank you so much for joining us and have a great night. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Cheers. We have reached the end of our episode tonight where we were talking about super life estates. I'm sure this, if, if you're already looking um, into getting into one of these, this is definitely one of those things that you want. It's like a mixture of, of, a, of, of, of a lifestyle or, and, and um, a beautiful amenities that you one can, can be accessing from the comfort of your own home. I'm, I, said, I said earlier on in the show, it's like you're on holiday while you are actually at home. Thank you so much for joining us for today's episode. Till we see you again tomorrow, same time same place right here on the private property podcast have a great evening